Hello, my name is Frank Christensen and I'm the coordinator of officials for IFAF Europe. Today we're looking at illegal forward handoff. So we'll look at a few examples and, and talk about uh, what it looks like, who needs to call it, uh, what the penalty enforcement is, uh, and we'll talk a little philosophy and mechanics. But before we get there, let's have a look to see what the rulebook and the MOFO have to say on this topic. In the rulebook, we start with the definition in 213.1a. Handing the ball is transferring player possession from one teammate to another without throwing, fumbling, or kicking it. B. Except when permitted by rule, handing the ball forward to a teammate is illegal. So it's illegal unless it's legal. D. A backward handoff occurs when the ball carrier releases the ball before it is beyond the yard line where the ball carrier is positioned. In Rule 716 uh, goes on to say no player may hand the ball forward except during a scrimmage down as follows. A. A teammate back may hand the ball forward to another back only if both are behind their scrimmage line. B. A teammate back behind his scrimmage line may hand the ball forward to a teammate who is on his scrimmage line at the snap provided that teammate leaves his line position by a movement of both feet that faces him towards his own end line and is at least two yards behind his scrimmage line when he receives the ball. In the MOFO, we go to 363, six, handing the ball forward illegally. Handing the ball forward, except when allowed by rule, is always a foul. So it's a foul unless it's allowed by rule. A team can gain significant yardage as well as the benefits of deception from this illegal play. Now, that was the book. Now let's have a look at some real live examples in the game film. As you can see, this first play is a, is a kickoff. And when you watch the return man here and what he does you kind of get the feeling that that was that was wrong and here if we freeze it like this it certainly looks like this handoff first of all that it is a handoff and it is forward and and we'll get confirmation on this uh, from the sideline view and here is the sideline view and sure enough you can see here that it certainly is a forward handoff and who should see this uh, certainly the referee can see this uh, was called by the referee uh, either of the wings could also see this probably easiest from 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 the sideline where you get the where you can see the ball uh, but certainly either wing uh, or the referee can see this and uh, and it it, it it goes from a, uh, a, a small foul to, uh, because of the result of the play, to a very uh, big foul that calls back, you know, uh, it ends up being a 90-yard penalty, but it is something that, that uh, at least in this case, ends up being way too big to ignore. On this play, we have... Uh, an, an interesting and unusual situation, but but actually not an illegal forward pass. Uh, first of all, the referee does a, a fairly good job here of staying up with the players. And then this happens, and luckily the referee is in good position to, to see this and call this, but this is actually not a forward, uh, a forward handoff, but rather a forward pass. So the ball is passed from, from pretty much the uh, the full yard line, you know, unless you want to say that his knee was down first. Um, and then uh, it is caught on the one yard line or the, the plus one or whatever you want to call this. So this is a, a forward pass and, and after a change of possession, this is an illegal forward pass. And, and since this is on a PAT, well then the, the score is, is nullified and the play is, is just over. Uh, 
but an interesting situation that, that is very close to a legal forward handoff, but actually turns into an illegal forward pass instead. This last example is really, really tight. And here we start with the end zone shot, uh, which is very close to what the referee has. And this is very tight. It's very close and very difficult to see from this angle. Um, typically, in these situations, uh, the coach or the quarterback will have, will have told the officials beforehand that when they run this play, they want it to be a forward pass so that it, when, when this happens, it turns into a, an incomplete forward pass and, and, and hopefully the officials will then tell the, uh, the quarterback or the coach just to make sure that the quarterback absolutely processes, controls the ball so that it doesn't become a muff of a backward pass, which in which case it would be just a continuation of the backward pass. But, but in this case, I think it's a good call for an illegal forward pass as opposed to a forward handoff here. And, and I, can, I can demonstrate that from the sideline shot. And here's the end, so the, uh, the sideline shot rather. And even though it's, it's still very close, I think you get a shot that here the quarterback controls the ball and here the ball is between the two players this is not a it's not a handoff but it is it, it may be the shortest pass in in the history of the of football but it is nonetheless a uh, a forward pass which then turns into an incomplete forward pass as opposed to a, uh, a forward handoff which in this case would be legal but it, it, in this case, it is a, a forward handoff or a, a, an incomplete forward pass. And that was, that was this training tape. I hope it made sense and I hope you found something you can use on the field.